Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about uh, exception handling in Python. So before going to the concept, let me explain you about the different kinds of errors. So there are mainly three types of errors. Right. So the first one is syntax error, the syntax error or the compiler error. These are uh, also called as compiler error because these errors will be identified by the compiler itself. Right. So this can be easily identified and uh, this can be solved by the user. And the second type of error means it's a logical error. So these are very difficult to identify very difficult to identify because these errors are uh, written by the user itself the user will write these logical errors so that means error in logic so these are very difficult to find out and uh, uh, you have to trace each and every instruction in order to identify the logical errors and the third category is there will be no logical error and there will be no syntax error but during the execution there might be a chance of getting an error that is called runtime error runtime error this is done during the runtime during the execution during execution of a program so we'll get the error and here this syntax error will be displayed on the screen and similarly uh, these the third category uh, runtime errors are also displayed on screen right and these logical errors are not displayed okay they are not visible not visible so we needed to identify right let me uh, show you the example for syntax logical and runtime and usually these runtime errors that means during the execution uh, if any event occurs which disturbs the normal execution that is called as a runtime error or we can also call it as a exception exception so once the exception is raised automatically the program will be terminated right so so let me explain you about the, all these three errors see for example so if you want to identify for for uh, i in range of 10 right and give here print i so this is nothing but the syntax error because after the for we need to give the indentation because for is a block see this is a syntax error so these errors will be identified by the user itself uh, sorry by the compiler so it be, it would be very easy to identify and it will be very easy, easy to clear and the second type is a logical error if you want to uh, write a logic for addition of two numbers uh, if i take a uh, two values 10 a comma b is equal to 10 comma 20 and if i write the logic c is equal to a minus b and print c right so my intention is i need to write a program to perform the addition of two values so in a mistake i have written some a minus b so what we'll get will we'll not get any error in this case but this is a logical error so that means the output will be different from the expected output so here the logic is different logic is uh, wrong so th these logical errors will be written by the user itself okay there will be no error error will not be displayed here coming to the runtime error so if you take some a is equal to int of input and uh, b is equal to int of uh, input and if you want to perform the a by b see if i give a with the 10 and b with the 2 we'll get a normal result there is no errors right so if i give here 10 and 0 so the denominator should not be 0 in the division right so here we are giving the 0 then it will return an error called a zero division error during the runtime during the execution of statements so for some sort of inputs we may get these exceptions so if you get these exceptions automatically the program will be terminated right so the exception means which disturbs the normal flow of execution right so if if our program had from some four lines of statements so s1 s2 s3 and s4 so four statements if an exception is raised at statement 2 
exception is raised at statement 2 then the 3 and 4 statements will not be get executed because the program terminates here the program will be terminated the program will be terminated right terminated and quits so what we have to do so we have to handle these exceptions whenever the exception is raised we need to handle the exception so how to handle this exception so we can handle this exception by using except block except block so in order to handle the exceptions we, we are going to use the four keywords sorry so in the exception handling in python we are going to use the four blocks one is try block except block else block finally block right so coming to the else and finally or the optional blocks these are optional so we may write or we may not write then try in this try we need to write the instructions we need to write all the instructions from which from which we are expecting the exceptions we are expecting the exceptions right so all those statements should be written in try so in the try only we will get the exceptions in the try the statements which we have written in the try are the instructions which we are going to expect the exceptions and if the exception is occurred this except block will be executed so exceptions exceptions which are raised in try block in try block will be handled will be handled by the except block by this block okay so only the exceptions raised in the try block instructions will be handled by this except block that means whenever uh, the instructions is having the exception this except block will be get executed this except block will be get executed so if there are no exceptions if there are no exceptions then else block will be get executed no exceptions if there are no exceptions else block will be get executed and irrespective of the thing always the finally block will the always the finally block will be get executed that means if the exception is raised or exception is not raised the finally block will be get executed so among these two except and else only one block will be get executed if there is any exception in the instructions written in try then except will be executed and if there is no ex exceptions raised from the try block else part will be executed right so i will show you a small example and we'll wind up and in the further sessions we'll see how to handle the multiple exceptions and all these things now let us write this one so this same thing we'll we'll discuss the zero division error consider this zero division error so i will write a request message so enter value for a and here uh, we'll write enter value for b now you can see print a by b print a by b so i can expect the exception in this statement because if the denominator is zero then automatically we'll get the exception so i will write try block here try and instead of this one i will write a by b and print c so if there is no exception uh, sorry if there is an exception raised here that should be handled by the except block so i'm writing some except block and here I will write print exception raised, right? And else, if there is no exception, I will print no exception. And always the finally block will be get executed. So finally print. program ends right now exa give a value and a b value if i give a b value as 2 there will be no error okay there will be no error see a is equal to 10 and b is equal to 2 
so try block c is equal to 10 divided by 2 there is no exception here so automatically c value will be printed and accept block will not be get executed because there is no exception so else part will be executed so else part no exception and program ends if you give the denominator as 0 now if you give the denominator as 0 so you can see the next statement will not be get executed so print c is not executed because the exception is raised at this particular statement so just now we have discussed that if the exception is raised automatically whatever the statements written after that particular except uh, after that particular instruction will not be get executed right the program will be terminated now here the exception is raised automatically the control will move to the accept block and this will be executed so we got the message as exception raised and always the finally will be get executed so program ends so if there is an exception the else part will not be get executed else part will not be get executed right so this is how we can handle the exceptions so we'll stop here uh, i think you understood about all these four blocks in the next session we'll see how to represent an exception and how to handle a particular exception and how can we handle the multiple exceptions right so hope you understood this session and enjoyed the session and if you are having any doubts regarding this one feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much